For this lesson, I will focus on Hamilton's rule and the evolution of altruism. In order to understand altruism, you must first understand fitness and its components. Fitness is determined by how well an individual survives and passes on its genes. An individual's direct fitness includes genes contributed to the next generation by an individual directly by a reproduction. This is usually measured by the number of surviving offspring produced by an individual. An individual's indirect fitness includes genes contributed to the next generation by an individual indirectly via helping relatives. So this includes offspring produced by a relative that wouldn't have been produced if it weren't for the help of that individual. Inclusive fitness is the sum of an individual's direct and indirect fitnesses. So again, this includes genes contributed to the next generation by an individual via personal reproduction as well as via helping relatives reproduce. Inclusive fitness is one explanation for observed instances of altruism in nature. Altruism occurs when animals perform behaviors that help other individuals increase their fitness at a cost to themselves. Hamilton's rule is an inequality that explains under which conditions altruism is expected to evolve in a population. Altruism is favored by natural selection when relatedness between an altruist and the recipient of altruistic behavior times the benefit to the recipient of altruistic behavior is greater than the cost to the altruist. So let's break this equation down a little more. Relatedness is the proportion of alleles shared between the altruist and the recipient of altruistic behavior. The benefit to the recipient is the number of offspring produced by the recipient that would not have been able to be produced without the help of the altruist. The cost to the altruist is the number of offspring the altruist is unable to produce as a result of the altruistic behavior. And so altruism essentially explains the action of kin selection within a population. Kin selection occurs when an individual's inclusive fitness is increased by engaging in altruistic behavior that enhances the reproductive success of relatives. There are a number of well-studied examples of kin selection in nature. For instance, in several species of birds, young individuals may forgo their own reproductive opportunities to stay at the nest of close relatives and help those relatives secure mates or raise offspring. This seems to be especially true in species where suitable territories and resources are in short supply. In these cases, young individuals may stay at the nest of their parents and help raise their siblings through the first year of sexual maturity. This explanation makes sense because those individuals may boost their indirect fitness more by staying and helping raise their siblings than they would boost their direct fitness by leaving and trying to reproduce on their own. Another example of kin selection in nature can be found in the Belding's ground squirrel. In this species, individuals give off alarm calls to warn relatives of approaching predators. Alarm calling behavior is altruistic because individuals giving off alarm calls are more likely to be taken by predators than individuals that aren't giving off alarm calls. Research has shown that individuals are more likely to engage in alarm calling behavior when they have close relatives in the near vicinity, supporting the idea that alarm calling boosts an individual's inclusive fitness. The evolutionary biologist J.B.S. Haldane once remarked, I would gladly lay down my life for two brothers or eight first cousins. While this is obviously a joke, it captures the idea of Hamilton's rule quite nicely. Haldane understood that each person shares, on average, 50% of his or her alleles with each sibling. Therefore, the reproduction of two brothers should be equivalent to the reproduction of Haldane himself, and therefore Haldane should be willing to lay down his life to save those two brothers. The same goes for eight first cousins. 